The topic we are going to discuss about is aldehydes and ketones. And the subtopic is reactions of carbonyl compounds. Let's discuss Cadizaro's reaction first. Aldehydes that have slow alpha hydrogen atom undergoes Cadizaro's reaction. It's a disproportionation reaction. Two molecules of the aldehyde are evolved. One molecule being converted into the corresponding alcohol, and the other converts into acid in the form of salt. That is, two of the molecules of aldehydes are used. That is, one from one molecule of acid that will be converted into acid in the form of salt, and one will be reduced, which will be alcohol converted. Here we have some examples. Formic acid reacts with sodium hydroxide, and it will yield methyl alcohol. And second molecule will be converted into sodium salt of formic acid. And second one is benz aldehyde. It will yield benzyl alcohol and sodium benzoate. Here we have its mechanism. The hydroxide ion from sodium hydroxide acts as a nucleophile, which attack Krega on this carbonyl carbon, and it will form an adduct that would be an anion. In the next step, ion transfers a hydride ion to the second molecule of formaldehyde. Formaldehyde ki dusre molecule ko yahan se jo ek hydride ion, not sirf hydrogen, but ye jo do electron hai, ye bhi transfer honge to this carbonyl carbon. Bonds rearrange honge, or we will get a methoxide ion plus formic acid. In the next step, methoxide ion acts as a strong base and extracts a proton from formic acid to transform methanol and formate ion. Methoxide ion, if formic acid se ek hydrogen le lega, it will form methanol. But yaha pe jo formic acid se ek proton abstract hua hai, wo compound sodium hydroxide ke saath react kare ke sodium catch kare ka and it will form sodium salt of formic acid. Next, we have the haloform reaction. Only acetaldehyde and methyl ketones react with halogens in the presence of NaOH to give haloform. So, in the first reaction, we have a small methyl ketone. Next, halogen or NaOH. It will form haloform. Next, we have acetaldehyde. This is from three molecules of iodine. And four molecules of NaOH will react with it will form iodoform, which is gas precipitate. It will form sodium salt of acetic acid, sodium iodide, or water. But our product of concern is iodoform, which is yellow precipitate. And this compound will be made of aldehyde or small methyl ketones. Here, the ratio that is 3 to 4. Further, secondary alcohols containing the hydroxyl group on the secondary carbon atom also undergo this reaction. A primary alcohols may say ethanol iodoform sugar. So, secondary alcohols product same banega, but in the ratio hai iodine or sodium hydroxide ki ko change. Hai. Now, we 3 ratio 4, thi, yaha pe bhi hai 4 ratio 6. Let's see its importance. The haloform reaction affords a convenient method for converting a methyl ketone to carboxylic acid containing one carbon less than that of the parent compound. So, haloform is a way we can produce this carboxylic acid. The parent compound, i.e. alcohol or aldehyde, will be a carbon atom. Then, the method of addition of HCN is a carboxylic acid produced in which the parent is a carbon. Here we have a test that is iodoform test. The haloform reaction using iodine and aqueous sodium hydroxide is called iodoform test. It results in the formation of water soluble iodoform, which is a yellow solid. So, acetaldehyde, when we get iodine plus sodium hydroxide, it will form iodoform. We have reaction for the first So, iodoform test ko hum use karte hai to distinguish between methyl ketones from other ketones. Ethanol from methanol or baki primary alcohols or acetaldehyde from other alcohols. 
इम्पोर्टेंट है कि आप माथन और एथनोटो किस तरह से सेपरेट कर सकते हैं सो यू कैन डू आयोडोफॉम टेस्ट हो गया येलो प्रेसिपिटेट बना सकते जो है वो पॉजिटिव देगा यानी कि येलो प्रेसिपिटेट बनाएगा जबकि माथन और जो है वो नेगेटिव देगा कोई रिएक्शन नहीं Let's discuss a practice sampling rule. Which of the following substance does not oxidize easily? And following are the options. Among these options, three are aldehydes and one is ketone. So aldehydes can be ketones are resistant to oxidation. So the correct answer is ketone. This was all about Canizzaro's reaction and halophone reaction. I hope you have understood it well. And thank you so much.